Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're here to talk about our Lord and Savior, Junkrat. So let's talk about him. Junkrat is a defensive character who I like to think is probably useful in every single scenario. His mobility with the concussion mind, his ability to block off passageways with his traps and concussion mind, as well as his frag launcher just dealing a good consistent amount of damage creates some great opportunities no matter what the map all right so to break this down in layman's terms junk rat is a mobile artillery platform he spams out these grenades the grenades bounce they do damage they explode he has a lot of fun his concussion mine can be used two ways, both offensively and for utility of movement, as we just use it there to get a heightened position. Attack Unfortunately, it's not always easy to get the ups here. Um, so in this case here, I kind of realized, okay, I can't really be facing it. I actually have to go up and then kind of bounce off the wall and move off to the right. And we still get up there. Now the idea here is I was hoping to use the, the mine to basically soar far across just raining death unfortunately i kind of mistimed it and i'm going to get hit for it too pretty damn hard took me right out of the air as you can see we're just laying down a field of fire and what this is kind of doing is uh, as it's hitting the tank shield, it's going to be reducing that by 120. Now, considering that uh, Reinhardt has 2,000 shield, it gets kind of annoying. But we're keeping this zone area here. We're catching anybody who kind of gets on the outskirts of that shield quite nicely. All right. So now we're going to use the concussion mine for some mobility, kind of go for a flanking action. And look, we found a May. It was at about this point I realized, you know, I'm not overly... A good match against May, but hey, I got the win anyway, thanks to said trap. Yay, traps. Alright, so we've made it off to the side. We're getting to the flanks. And we're looking for soft targets like that healer right there. Now I hear footsteps, and I'm pretty sure there's a sniper coming in, so I'm going to lock off that window just in case. And yep, there was a sniper. And apparently a little bit of network lag for that poor soul. Oh well. Heroes never die. It's dirty, but we take it either way. So we're going, and we see it thanks to Widowmaker's vision there at the end, allowing us to get a double. And basically, kind of deny them the resources they need to take this. Speaking of May, ah yes, that icicle could be icicle could be just lethal every single time. That icicle does seventy damage. And I was at like 55 life, so yeah, I was pretty screwed. So the payload's going. Now here we are, we're just creating a zone in front. Kind of keeping everybody else back. And look at that, even stunned and on the ground, my grenade was still able to kill the tank that just knocked everybody down. Thus saving at least two people on our team. There's very few characters that ha can actually do that. Matter of fact, I don't think there's any other character that can do that. And Junkrat can do it two different ways. One way you just saw right there, and the other way is through his passive, which we have yet to see. But his passive, uh, is called Total Mayhem, is basically a suicide vest, all right? It's a bunch of grenades strapped on him. The moment he dies, boom, it goes off. I, I think some better names for it should have been like Last Laugh or uh, Dead Man's uh, Trigger or some shit like that because that's exactly what it is. It's a Dead Man's Trigger. But you know, hey, Blizzard, they have their own reasons here. So I'm starting to see this sniper fire. I was like, okay, I know where you're at. 
So we're gonna get this jump up here and yep, just completely demolish the sniper. That doesn't happen too often, but when you're playing the sniper that close, it's going to happen. And a jump rat killing affair doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's a great feeling. All right, so here comes the May. Um, we're one and one in our engagements. Alright, I'm gonna buy myself some time and get the hell out of here. Literally drops down right behind me. Scared the crap out of me. Holy crap. And we've got the tracer. Let's go for the combo and we get it. Alright. Taking a lot of damage here. Alright. Thanks to some nicely timed division, that concussion mine. See? That concussion mine is very, very useful, ladies and gentlemen. Very useful. Unfortunately, I'm aiming way too low to be able to hit up on that platform, and I know I am. But again, we're just creating zones of influence here, or zones of destruction. And the more destruction you can cause, even if it's not hitting anybody, it's going to make them think twice about moving into it. They know it's not going to be easy, so they're going to be basically trying to avoid the spire, which inevitably will lead them into the uh, field of view of other people who will kill them for you. And even if you only get like a little soft touch, you're still going to get the elimination. So, come on. Who doesn't love Jump Rat? Ah, yes. Tracer is a bane. Jump Rat does have a lot of weaknesses. The fact is he only has 200 health, which means he's pretty killable by a lot of things. Uh, Reapers and Tracers can do some really nasty work on him. Um, pretty much anybody with any range. Vera, Widowmakers, Soldier 76, uh, even McCree's. They, they basically keep you at range until they screw you up. Bastions, if they get a long enough view on you, yeah, they can destroy you as well. Alright. Just kind of push them back, stop them from pushing in there. Somehow, I actually killed that ninja. I'm not sure how. I'm not going to ask, but I somehow did. Alright. And here we get to see Total Mayhem actually in action. That's, that's always a great thing. That's what I love about Reinhardt. If I see a Reinhardt in the enemy team, I feel so good playing Junk Rat. Because that allows me to do two things. Basically stand directly in front of him, trying to get him to charge me. Which, when he does, I'm going to hit him in the face at least two times. And then as he pins me, he kills himself against the wall. Yeah, fun times. Ah, oh, yeah. Killing Tracer always makes me feel better. Not gonna lie, it really does. Alright. I'm gonna try to push them back with the tire. Take out the healer. Unfortunately, we die in the process. And it's just one of those facts of life that damn may. We're going to try to get back in here. We want to stay in this battle a little bit longer. Again, just creating zones. And by making the firing pattern a little bit random, it's going to be a little difficult to actually get around. Now, you see that we actually tagged their healer. Then he got tagged a little bit um, by something else. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we tried to go for that nice little platform up there so we can kind of do a flank behind, and we're denied by a Pharah. And we kind of failed to get there, again, too close to the target.
These are getting really rough here. We're, we've got to push. Alright, so we have a tire ready. What I'm thinking here is I really want to get on that nice little platform up there and then have the tire go through the hallway, drop down behind, and take out multiple people. That's the idea I want to work with. Unfortunately, my timing's a little bit off, and, well, my team's Reinhardt kind of screwed me out of a couple kills here. But you know what? Hey, it's a team game. All right. But we'll take out their healer, thus making any sort of sustained defense very, very hard. I'm going to get right on this payload, kind of move it as fast as I can, and I end up bouncing May out of contention of being able to stop the payload while still moving said payload. That is Junkrat, ladies and gentlemen. He has got to be probably one of the most versatile characters. You can use him attack, defense, wherever. There's not a map that I have found that Junkrat isn't overly good. There are many matchups where I find that he's not overly good, but none of the maps actually are overly bad for him. And as you can see, we did almost 12,000 damage with him. Now, mind you, we were doing a lot of spam fire. That's true. And we were mostly bouncing it off Reinhardt's shield, but hey, we didn't have any kind of power thing to go through it. But we did end up getting 23 eliminations with 5 deaths. Two more eliminations, and that would have been a 5-1 to one KD, alright? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please like, subscribe, leave me comments down below. Till next time, be safe.